So as Mark mentioned, um, I, I did some speed tests as well. You know, he talked about some numbers versus the competing Canon. I was kind of curious about the, the speed versus the, uh, the existing P7000, P9000 line, which uh, I'm guessing a bunch of you already have. And uh, you know, one of the questions worth asking is, is, is it worth upgrading to uh, uh, from, because the P7000 is still available and there's a slight uh, price differential. So is it worth paying extra for the, uh, for the 7570? And uh, speed is one of, the, one of the things I was curious about. So this is just an image um, I found of um, the, the Ganges Delta taken from space. It's kind of colorful and interesting. It's 20 by 20 inches, 11 megabytes. And I tested a variety of, um, of resolutions, uh, but all these resolutions were set to high speed bidirectional, which is what we usually print at. And uh, here's some data for you. So what's worth uh, comparing is the P7570 versus the P7000. Yeah, P7570 at 600 DPI uh, is comparable to the P7000 at 720 DPI. And I broke the, the, the printing into two bits. One is the, the time to start, which is when I hit print from Photoshop to when uh, the print head starts moving. And then the second part is when the print head starts moving to when it's done. And, uh, and you can see the differences here. Uh, so the difference between 600 and 720 is quite substantial. Uh, uh, the 7570 is a lot faster and I'll show you a chart in a moment. Uh, and then also you might wanna compare 1200 to 14, 1440 if you're doing higher quality, finer detailed stuff. And again, the, um, the 7570 is substantially faster, both in terms of time to start printing as well as print time. And then I did one test at uh, 2400, that's the maximum speed. I don't know too many people who printed that resolution. It's slow and, and honestly, I have a tough time telling the quality between 600 and 1200 DPI. So uh, you have to have a, a pretty sharp eye to see the difference between 1200 and 2400. This is a, um, just a diagram with the same info. So you can see that uh, if you compare the um, 7570 at 600, the time to print is, uh, is to start printing is faster. Uh, as well as the print time is substantially faster, and uh, in in both uh, both resolutions of interest. This is a summary. Uh, so the time to start is about fifty percent faster on the seventy five seventy, and it's twice as fast at six hundred, and about fifty percent faster at twelve hundred versus fourteen forty. Which is interesting because that's basically exactly what Mark showed uh, versus the Canon. So. Uh, uh, this is just a substantially faster printer. And then I wanted to look at uh, color gamuts as well. And you know, the, the key competitor for, for Epson is, uh, is the Canon line. So I, I looked at some profiles in uh, ColorThink and um, uh, two sets of profiles really, one, one for a kind of a, a luster high gloss media and then one for a fine art media that's got a, a, you know, a, a, a more of a matte finish. And with both of them, the uh, 7570 was uh, uh, about 10% larger in terms of color gamut, which is a substantial difference. Uh, that's a real uh, you know, interesting advantage of the Epson printer. And this, this uh, image on the right shows you where it punches out the, uh, the, the gamut. It's uh, substantially in the green uh, up here in the upper left-hand corner, green and all the way to uh, cyan uh, is uh, much bigger with the Epson. And also you get some benefit in the upper right with um, in the red area. It's worth noting that the, in the deep, deep blues, even, even with the violinic, we're seeing a little bit of advantage with the, um, with the Canon. So let me see if I can bring up a different application. This is ColorThink. Now we're seeing the, the same um, profiles in 3D. So you can kind of see that the lightness dimension as well. So we're seeing a real big benefit uh, to the, uh, uh, the the um, Epson is in the, the red wireframe. Real big advantage in the green, particularly the lighter greens uh, as you're getting to white just punches up the volume substantially. And then again, we're seeing a pretty nice punch out in the, on the saturated reds here for the Epson as well. And just a little bit of advantage in the dark, dark blues for the, uh, for the Canon. 